Welcome back. The St. Thomas University's men's hockey team did some major recruiting over the summer. One of the players they brought in was star goalie Charlie Levine. There are high hopes for him. You see what Levine thinks here. Is he going to go backhand again on him? Well, that did so in the penalty shot and poke check a nice one by Levine. Oh, good play by the Moncton goalie. Coming out of the Quebec Major Juniors, Charlie Levine is expected to improve the Tommies' goaltending situation this season. Last season was a tough one for the Tommies, winning just 8 out of 28 games. The three goalies combined for 146 goals against. That's an average of over 5 per game. For head coach Mike Eagles, Levine is the right fit for the void in net. Levine played with his son Matt Eagles in Moncton. He became a close friend of the Eagles family. I was able to watch Charlie in Moncton and you know, I understood that he was a good goaltender. He had a great year last year with the Ramparts, so of course uh, when the time comes for us to uh, you know, look at bringing a goaltender this year, Charlie was at the top of our list. Well, it was a pretty simple decision. Uh, I mean, everybody's dream is to play a pro. I was looking to play, play a pro, but uh, the opportunity didn't come along, so I had to choose somewhere to go to school. And knowing the Eagles family pretty well, it was a pretty simple decision to come here. Levine had an exceptional season with the Quebec Ramparts last year, recording 34 wins, 6 shutouts, and a 2.37 goals against average. At the end of the season, Levine was voted to the second All-Star team. With such a great accomplishment, Levine knows a lot is expected of him this season. I mean, it does put a little bit of pressure on, but, I, but I've played in pressure before, pressure situations. Playing in Quebec last year in front of uh, 15,000 fans and for Patrick Waugh, I mean, pressure is not new to me, but uh, there's always a little bit of it, and, uh, but I'm uh, ready to rise to the challenge. So far, Charlie Levine has been living up to those high expectations early in the year. In a recent game, Charlie made 51 saves to give the Tommies their first win of the season. Reporting for Stu Journalism, I'm Derek Montague. Alicia, I hear that leaves aren't the only thing changing color this season. That's right. Students are also going from brown to blonde to red. But using box hair color doesn't always work out. Here's Joanne Goodall with the story. A box of colored hair dye might display nice and easy, but this is not so easy to believe. To students, the price might be cheap, but it's still not worth it. Hey, St. Thomas University, Joanne Goodall here at Trade Secret Hair Salon to get the scoop about box hair dye. Let's go! Selected box dye costs between $8 and $15 a box compared to salon prices between $70 to $125 to change their hair. Trade Secret hairstylist Mitch Morris knows the price students have to pay if their boxed hair color doesn't turn out. You could be looking from somewhere to 100 to 200 depending on where you go, what they have to use for products, like if you don't want to cut out your hair, there could be, you know, multiple foils, different types of hair color, like the service part of it, like there's um, many different charges, like, but like I said, you could be looking from anywhere to 100 to 200 dollars just to have it fixed. Going to the pharmacy for a box of color is a fast way to change your hair and meet your budget. Students are apt to buy box hair dye for a quick and easy fix. St. Thomas student Kara Brown used box hair dye to change her do. I just get bored every now and then I want to change something and it's a relatively cheap way of changing my hair around. St. Thomas student Ryan Hebert has also used box hair dye but had a separate experience to Brown. It really burned when they did it. I remember having my head, Amber was behind me, I was in the bathtub, it, was, it looked like I was bleeding out my scalp. I mean, my nose was burning, you know, even the shampoo they put in your hair to get the color, I guess, to stick, it, ooh, it's almost worse than the color itself. Hair instructor at Majestini Institute in Fredericton, New Brunswick, Shannon Upshaw, promises students that a visit to her salon will leave them happy, compared to being unsatisfied with boxed color. Stylists like herself can do more with hair dye than what consumers can ever dream about doing at home. This is not something you can achieve easily at home because it's multi-tonal. We've got red up here and we've got blonde down here. And uh, we need to mix up two bowls here for her blonde. We would separate and pick out what we want to color blonde and what we want to color red. Fox hair dye is sold worldwide and consumers keep buying. Just remember, students, that when you purchase box hair dye, it may not turn out exactly the way you wanted it to. But just remember, there is a hairstylist out there for you that can fix any problems, but for a higher price. 
is Joanne Goodall with Stu Journalism. Well, that's our show for this week. You can check us out online at stewbasementtapes.wordpress.com. In the meantime, it's back to the basement for us. Mm -hmm.